Hey, welcome to my channel, Pat Projects. Today I have a 2000 Toyota Sienna right here, uh, and the key ignition keeps on getting stuck. So I went ahead and I purchased a new one. So I'm gonna teach you really quick how to change it. This is only for the one without transporter or immobilizer. Okay, this is for the regular plain uh, key. If you have the transporter or immobilizer one, it's a different process. How to take it out is the same, but when you put it in, uh, you need a, a special code scanner or like Toyota Tech Stream in order for it to activate it back into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do, you want to remove this little thing. Next, you're going to put the key. And you turn it to the accessories on. Then you want to remove this panel right here on the bottom. This one, it's easy. All you got to do is pull it down. All you got to do is pull it down. And that's it. And what you want to do is you want to get with a pin. that little hole right there that's where you want to hit it you can use a pen that's what I use okay I used this pen and I went ahead and pushed it in I don't have one handy but okay once you push it in you pull the key thing out, jiggle it, and look, there you go. There you go, see? Once you jiggle it like that, look, this thing comes out. Okay, and then you're gonna put the new one. Uh, when you put it uh, the new one, go again to ACC. And then, see the inside right there? Right here, let's see. There's like a little pin. That pin has to go in there. Try to kind of match it when you put it in. Mm -hmm. Once it goes in, you hear a click. You hear that click? And that's it. And then, and that is how you change the ignition lock cylinder. A 2000 Toyota Sienna. This process will uh, work for almost any Toyota that has this kind of uh, keys, which usually tends to be Tacomas, tends to be a lot of Camrys, and so on and so forth. Um, there might be times when you're looking at a 2000. Uh, Toyota Sienna and it will show that you only have a transporter key or with immobilizer But you actually if you look at 2001 or sometimes 99 like a year prior uh, You can do it. The bad thing about this though is that now I have two keys I have a key for the ignition and a key For this piece of crap, which is for the rest of the car Which kind of sucks because I really didn't want to have two uh, keys, but I heard that if you go to a locksmith, they're able to uh, fix it so it works with your old keys. So uh, I don't know if that's true. I need to go talk to a locksmith. But anyways, hope this helps a lot of people. Again, simple. Oh, don't forget to put this back up. There we go. Okay, very simple, very quick. All right, hope this helps a lot of people. And. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day.